Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Get in there. Checking in on a quick little update, right quick on G by the T Top Head of Pounder. Uh, did a little kind of okay video, beginner's video, showing uh, T Top Head of Pounder. They notorious for riding out on the G by the man, notorious. Drill out all the spy wheels. Shout out to my man coming through drilling out the spy wheels. Got it all test fitted. It fit pretty good. Not quite 100% because when I took this one off, it just dropped right back down. This one got a little flex in it, but uh, it's thin metal. So once I squeeze it down, tack it down, boom, she in there. Little tack right here in the corner, how factory was. Little tack right here. Then I uh, probably use, I don't know, some fiberglass or something to build that back up. Back in the old days, they used use lead. Um. It's the other side Got it all test Looking good uh, I'm going to spray some epoxy prime on here Just for future reference Case years down the line from the new rubbers If uh, water gets down Past the rubbers The water sits here That's where it rots right, out over time So I'm going to spray some epoxy primer So if water do get by the seals in the future It'll sit right here And it, it, it It'll be a while for it to penetrate through the epoxy primer to actually get to the metal and ride in the metal. I'm going to see if I can spray some chassis to save on this. I'm going to see. Uh, man, I think I probably can as long as I probably like block off these with my, this with the seals hook into. So I'll probably spray some chassis to save on this as well. Or I might mop a little thin coat on and he won't have to worry about that. On um, the bottom part underneath. It looks good. I might just mop a little chassis save in this corner right here, but all of it look good under there, so I probably won't. I might go ahead and mop some under this whole channel, this bottom channel there. Uh, mop some chassis to save her. The printer's boy had this chassis saver left he brought through. Um, We're going to get this done. Grind down all the wheels. Future reference. I think if I do a T-top again, I'm going to change this whole pillar. That way I ain't got to worry about fighting with this, trying to get it grinded down and putty it and shape it back. I'm going to just change this whole metal piece right here. won't be no problem to grind these down and a little putty cross. And here I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to put another piece of sheet metal to build that up. That way I could just put a little thin coat of uh, uh, ice and cross. Uh, bondo hair or something I don't know but I'll figure that out um gotta go and get it out of here next couple weeks get this done got all brand new suspension going on oh uh, not the big brakes well I'm gonna take the brakes off uh might polish the calibers or paint them on fresh uh performance rig suspension all new tubular control alarms uh back in already done with the UMI setup in the back Carl Lewis, get that stands right. Uh, tubular front control alarm. Uh, Carl Lewis in the front. Carl Lewis all four corners. Get the stands right, man. Get it handling right. Get it uh, running smooth. I mean, not running smooth. Get it handling right. Uh, um, what else? What else? That's about it, YouTube. Trying to keep it quick. I don't know how much room I got on this shitty phone. Uh, I got a screen I need to fix on my Galaxy 8. No Galaxy 7. Just haven't had a chance to do it. Uh, but that's what up with the T Top update. Um That's about it. Um the video was dark that day. If you haven't if you don't know what the header panel looks like, that's what it looked like. Rusted out, man. Thank goodness. The guy who had this car sitting up another year. It would have rotted out the whole structure of the T top. It'd have been trash. But luckily, we just had this T top. I mean, the head of panel rusted out, changed it out. Boom, that's it. We had this tacked in tomorrow. Fade back tomorrow with another update. T top head of panel tacked in. Probably show a video with me uh, tacking it in and just prepping it. I'm uh, probably pox of this when I get it tacked down. But chassis to save on, on the on the bottom side uh in the channel where you know the gutter whatever you want to call it in the extra structure the t-top this bottom part uh what else what else what else uh that's about it youtube trying to keep it short and sweet for y'all uh 
I got to stick me something on the backside to fill this weld in. If I had the gas before I put this top on, I would have filled in these uh, holes from drilling out the spot well. If I didn't have the, the welding gas at the time, I missed the plug well here. Uh, get that. And uh, that's about it, YouTube. I took all the trim, gave the trim to him with his ass to make him do some work. Scuff him up, clean him. Uh, and uh, probably be painting all the trim. Flat black, satin black, whatever you want to do. And uh, that's it, YouTube, man. Sure appreciate y'all checking in and getting in that lab, man. We got a lot of stuff about to go down in the lab. A lot of stuff, man. We busy, busy. Lab probably backed up all the way about me, man. Uh, I ain't did much on the Cuddy. Uh, the Cuddy almost there. Uh, Cuddy almost there, believe it or not. Uh, there's a few more things to do on the frame. Uh, well, one more thing to do on the frame. And, uh, that's it. Uh, but uh, I'll be probably come with an update for child with the Cuddy. Uh, probably probably the end of the month, probably. Uh, should be. Should have that down here. Uh, but that's it, though. T top, um, T body header panel install. Some of y'all need to know how it's installed. Watch the first video. I do a lot of yapping and rambling on, talking noise with the people chatting, but uh, the information there showing how it go down. Like I say, lead right here to hide the scene from the factory. I don't know. They had a lot of lead there, too. I don't know. I built it back up with some hairs or something I find out from uh, from my boy uh, G Body Colors, man. We do collision work every day. So I find out from him what he uses in the collision world. So like I said, maybe some bondo hairs there or something. To build it up. I can't use all, I can't do bondo because that much bondo will crack. So I might have to build it up with some uh, fiberglass then bondo or something. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Appreciate y'all dropping by the lab. Man, we got a lot more updates coming. A lot more updates. Uh, what else? What else? Shocks on his car. Only got 3,000 miles. They, uh, I, I forgot how you pronounce them. Bristing, bristing or something like that. The yellow and uh, blue shocks. They only got 3,000 miles on these shocks and springs. 150 for the shocks shipped to the door. You want the springs, man? Give me 50 bucks. You can have the springs. Plus shipping. Uh, shock, like I say. Do your research. Them shocks, they'll set about 300 easily. Uh, I don't have the key. He put the shocks on. He did the LS swap. Put the shocks and springs on. Car never moved. He, he was still working on the swap. Got the dash put in. That's when he got everything. He started driving and the uh, thing on the dash say 3100, I think. So that's all he got on this LS swap with these shocks. Wheels 3100 miles. Uh, let me know anybody needs some shocks, man. Some good shocks. We ain't trying to spend the 300 for a set. Uh, but uh, what else? What else? Mm, wheels still for sale. Get a couple bikes. A couple people stunting, BSing. But um, they still for sale. But I think I'm gonna do something with them, and we're gonna just rock them. But somebody got the cash 2K, you can get them. 14 inch rotors, man. Get your, get your boy up beneath those calibers, kits, whatever, man. Camaro setup, double pistol setup in the back. Get at me. Boy, get in there and get in the lab. Yeah, that's a nothing.